So I have a problem. My audio interface has a limited number of inputs, so I can't track all of the individual stereo outs of the Digitone keys and still have another stereo out for my peak here. I also want to track all eight tracks of the Digitact, but Digitact only has a stereo output. So how do I get all of these things tracked with only an eight channel audio interface? The answer is Overbridge. Now, Overbridge is a free plugin from Electron that turns your machine into a VST. What? How does that make any sense? I'm going to explain how that works and also show you how to get a Digitone Keys or Digitone and a Digitact routed within Ableton Live using Overbridge. So let's start with a quick example. Here are a few patterns I made using Digitone Keys, Digitact, and Peak, but I want to be able to record the pattern changes in Ableton Live. So here's how those patterns sound. Pretty silky. So now I want to get all of this into Ableton Live so I can mix and master the track or mangle and completely destroy it with plugins. Either way, Overbridge makes it so easy to get all the sounds from Electron machines into the software world to polish up or get really weird. So let's start with how to get connected. First, take a USB cable and connect it from the back of your Electron machine into your computer or powered USB hub. I'm using the Electron Overhub here. And I have the yellow cable coming out of the Digitone keys and the blue cable coming out of the Digitact into the overhub and the overhub into my computer. The next thing we want to do is make sure our hardware is communicating with the computer and overbridge. So select the gear icon, go down to system, then USB config. And here's where we can adjust our settings for recording over USB. So by default, USB MIDI will be checked but you'll want to make sure that Overbridge is the one that's actually checked. Now it's going to disable the USB MIDI on the device. Now when you go down to INT to main, INT to main off means no sound is sent to the main out. Auto means that no sound is sent to the main out when Overbridge is available in streaming sound. If not, the sound is sent to the main out. And then on means that the sound is always sent to the main out. So for our purposes, I want to have it on off. I just want to hear what's coming through on Overbridge. USB to main is going to be your amount of amplification of the sound that's streamed over USB to the main output. I'm fine with leaving it at zero. Now that we got that set up, let's make sure the Digitact is also set up. Same thing, go to system, USB config, And then you also have the option on Digitact for it to be pre or post fader. That's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave it at post. Now, since I have peak set up on MIDI track one, I don't want to send that to Ableton. So I need to go into the gear icon again, go to MIDI config, port config, and then output. Just leave it to MIDI. I just want Digitone keys and Digitact and peak communicating that way. I don't want to send that MIDI track over USB. Now our hardware is ready to communicate with Ableton via Overbridge, so let's jump into Ableton Live. So this is a completely fresh new Ableton Live session that you might see when you first download the software. I'm going to delete all but the first MIDI track. Then below in my MIDI from selection, I'm going to select Digitone Keys. Great, so we just need to add the Digitone VST. Now, when you download Overbridge, 
you will need Ableton Live to recognize the VSTs by having them in the appropriate folder. I'm going to put a link in the description on where to put VST files if you're unfamiliar, both for PC and Mac. So the Digitone plugin is for another video. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you want to know more about. Uh, definitely a lot to talk about with the kit editor and sound browser, but I'm more concerned about this sync up here. So I'm going to set that to no sync. Now, since I made this whole project on the machines themselves, I don't want Ableton's clock to take over my session. If you want, you can have it on clock and clock transport, uh, totally fine, but I just want it on no sync for this specific example. So let's hit play. Perfect. We now have audio being sent. Now that we have the VST running, we need to set up individual audio tracks within Ableton Live. First, let's set up a track for our main out and make it post effects so we get all the effects content from Digitone. But I also want the individual dry outputs to work with later, so let's create new audio tracks for those. And then track one, and then we're gonna do the same thing for all the other tracks here. This is gonna be track two. This will now be track three. And finally, track four. Okay, perfect. And if we hit play, we can see that there's audio coming into these tracks. I just have them muted right now. But each track has some audio coming out. That's great. So now I want to do the same thing for Digitact. So we're going to insert a new MIDI track. Same thing here MIDI from Electron Digitact. Bring in our Digitact. Notice how the clock jumped there. <laughs> so let's take the clock and transport from clock and transport to no sync. And let's make sure that's all working together. Perfect. All right, close this down. And now same thing here. I want to insert audio tracks. Do it from the Digitact. Have it be post effects here. Digitact. Track one. Great, now we can see all of our tracks. And let's make sure we're getting signal on all of the individual tracks here. I'm gonna mute these main ones here, and then let's just arm all of these guys, the individual tracks, including the effects one. Oop, not you. Look at that, we're getting everything. Now it's as simple as adding another audio track from my peak, and look, all tracks can now be recorded simultaneously within Ableton Live. Label all your tracks, save this as a template, recall it whenever you want to record with your Electron machines, and save the inputs on your interface for other gear. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.